Happy National Engineer Week. It's a great day to be an engineer. Whether you're active, guard, reserve, civilian, contractor, or family member that's supporting the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in our regiment, you're making a difference in the history of this great country. You know, we celebrate National Engineer Week during President George Washington's birthday. He is considered the nation's first engineer. As you know, the Army birthday is 14 June, 1775. And two days later, George Washington assigned the first Chief of Engineers. So our birthday on the 16th of June, 1775, starts the beginning of a very long history of service to this great country. And that history includes helping the settlers along the Mississippi and the Ohio rivers. It includes mapping uh, the railroad routes out to the west. It includes opening the American West. Other great missions that the Corps of Engineers has been involved in include the Panama Canal, the Washington Monument, the Capitol Dome, and here where I stand, the Pentagon. You know, the Pentagon is where the most senior civilian and military leaders make decisions for this great country. I've had the opportunity to work here, even during 9-11, and I can tell you this facility is doing its job. It was constructed in only 16 months, which demonstrates what the Corps of Engineers and our great soldiers, civilians, and contractors can do whenever the nation calls. And we've done a lot more since that time, including building 65 hospitals for the Department of Veterans Affairs. We've also been involved in the NASA construction, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. We've been involved in many great works across this great country in the civil works arena, including work uh, in levees and dams and things that help this great country be as prosperous and economically viable as it is today. I ask you as you think about what you've done recently to think big, uh, think about the great work that has happened over the last 13 years, whether it was uh, work in Iraq, in Afghanistan with our combat engineers, our sappers, our construction, our route clearance mission, American soldiers, civilians working side by side to serve this nation, to protect the freedoms that we all enjoy. And not only that, we've been involved in great work uh, throughout this nation in responding to disasters like uh, Hurricane Katrina and Superstorm Sandy. We've just completed a report, the North Atlantic Coastal Comprehensive Study, that will help us into the future in how we respond to disasters such as Superstorm Sandy. How do we prepare for the future to make communities more resilient? You know, this week is about uh, people more than anything else. Um, whether we have more uh, construction techniques that are better in the future, better equipment, uh, it all comes down to great people, scientists, technologists, engineering and mathematicians. And also there's the base realignment and closure construction. $12 billion of construction throughout this nation. Again, the best of our engineers coming together soldiers, civilians, contractors, active guard reserve, making a difference on our military installations. That's who we celebrate this week, along with all of those who support the great engineers in the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as our engineer regiment. You know, we've been serving this nation for over 240 years. Uh, it's been a great history, as I just laid out for you. I'm really proud of this great team, and I know we have a bright history in the future for another 240 years and more. But it'll all come down to people, people that we reach out to in this special week. So happy National Engineer Week. Congratulations. S.A. Ons, building strong, Army strong.